Hello everyone! Today we're gonna take a closer look at a new timeline and its working principles. Here we go! Use the drag and drop option to add video files to the scene or to the timeline. You can also add your videos via add object button of the upper menu. As you can see, the files no longer look like a long horizontal staircase, but line up in one layer. The layers are now parallel and you can easily shift any object up or down the timeline grid even on a new layer. Cutting several videos at a particular moment to achieve a better video ending effect is now as simple as ABC. Just select the files on the timeline with the mouse or press and hold the shift key and highlight the files using a left mouse button. Click split into parts. That's it! When shifting objects along the timeline, use the drag and drop option to place them skin to skin on the timeline. Drag one object to another and they will automatically be anchored. Use the split into parts button or Ctrl plus K hotkey to split a file into several pieces. All video parts will be kept on one layer. If you need to delete the middle part of a file or several files, you need to set the markers properly. Click the Set Begin Work Area by Cursor Position button for the Start Marker. For the End Marker, use the Set End Work Area by Cursor Position button. Then click the Cut Out Fragment button. As a result, the distance between the set markers will shrink and you will see a triangle icon indicating that the file was trimmed. 